Welcome. So last one we're going to do as far as uh, solving by completing the square when we have a equals one. So the main important thing again that we're going to look into is making sure this is zero. And then we're going to want to make sure we put in parentheses because x squared minus 9x plus 20 is not a perfect square trinomial. And remember when completing the square to go from standard to our vertex, we have to have a perfect square trinomial that we can factor down to a binomial squared. So what we're going to do is we need to create our perfect square trinomial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my b divided by 2 and then square it. So in this case, my b is a negative 9 divided by 2 and then square it. Well, negative 9 divided by 2, that's going to be a decimal. So let's keep it as a fraction. So negative 9 divided by 2, that's going to equal 81 over 4. Because remember, you have to square the numerator and the denominator. So now I have 81 over 4, and it's a fraction. And I know it's OK. It's just a fraction. We're going to still apply the exact same um, process that we've done for all completing the square. We're going to add it to both sides. 81 over 4 plus 0 is 81 over 4 equals x squared minus 9x plus 81 over 4. And then we still have a plus 20 over here. Now remember, when we want to factor this down, we can factor it using all the techniques we've talked about. However, if you remember, I talked about x plus or minus b divided by 2 squared. That is going to be the binomial, um, binomial of a perfect square trinomial. So this is going to be your binomial squared of a perfect square trinomial when it's positive when your middle term is positive, and it's negative when your middle term is negative. Well, in this case, our middle term is negative. Our b divided by 2 is negative 9 over 2. So you can see it's negative. So therefore, I have 81 over 4 equals x minus b divided by 2 squared plus 20. Not b divided by 2. How about we write 9 over 2? OK, so now we're good on this. So now what we simply need to do is use our inverse operations. So I need to subtract 20 on both sides. And let's do the work over here. So 81 over 4 minus 20. Well, in this case, what we need to do is we need to uh, make sure we have the same denominator. So I'm going to put the denominator as 1. And then to get the same denominator, I need to multiply by 4 over 4. So therefore, that will give me 81 over 4 minus 80 over 4, which equals 1 over 4. So therefore, I have 1 fourth equals x minus 9 halves squared. Now what I need to do is take the square root. So I need to undo the squaring function. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And just remember, when you take the square root of both sides, we need to include the positive and the negative form of version. Well, the square root of 1 fourth is going to be plus or minus 1 half. You could also take the square root of the numerator and the denominator separately. By taking them together, you notice that 1 half times 1 half gives us 1 fourth. But we need to make sure we include the positive and the negative equals x minus 9 halves. Now to solve for my x, I'm going to add 9 halves. So therefore, I'll have x equals 9 halves, positive 9 halves, plus or minus 1 half. Now thankfully, we kept them as fractions. We didn't convert them to decimal. And we have the same denominator. So we can easily go ahead and find these two values. So x equals 9 halves plus 1 half is going to be equal 10 halves. And then x equals 9 halves minus 1 half is going to equal 8 halves. Not negative. 8 halves. And we can reduce both of these. So x equals 5 and 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your two uh, solutions to when you have an equation by solving by completing the square. Thanks.